Lastly, we have symbols. Now, if you're a director developer, you'll immediately recognize this. It's kind of like a string, but in the context of a JavaScript application, it's immune to minifiers. So most of the times, if you have string specific names, minifiers are really good at saying, ah, Jesse has, I make it rain on him, I make it rain on him as a function name. Very verbose, but hey, verbose is good. We can read it, you know, long, long names, right? What the minifier will do is take that down, shrink it to a single variable letter name, put it in a key and said, I've already used this letter in the alphabet and then reference anybody who uses that function. So minifier is really good taking large code bases and shrinking them down. Fantastic. However, sometimes you might need that name to be there if it's dynamic or you're referencing things or whatever else. Maybe you have to debug at runtime or there's a variety of reasons you might need to use a string. Some edge cases. It is there. So for example, if I have, let's say, my name in the map, okay, I will say my map is just a normal map. I'm not going to put any strong type in it, okay? It's just a normal map and put it where I want, whatever I want in it. I can actually say cow goes set. And that particular cow is actually the same thing as cow. So, for example, when I print out test cow, it'll print out sup, right? from that runtime. So when we print out cow, or we print out cow's the symbol, right? It actually is a symbol class, but it is an operator. It's referenced internally as a string, but it's immune, immune to minifier. So this has the potential for whatever reason to get minified down. It knows it's a string, Dart recognizes its use cases and where it's used. The minifier will make smart decisions. The more strong typing you utilize, the better it can make better, you know, compiled faster JavaScript. And it may rename it, right? Symbols, not gonna happen. So that is what they're there for. Good reference points. It's kind of a, a poor man's string constant.